Hello everyone and welcome back to another episode of Fly Tying with KC. Today we are going to be tying the Cinnamon Toast Ant. Uh, the Cinnamon Toast Ant is one of my favorite terrestrial patterns. Definitely my favorite bigger ant pattern, probably my favorite ant pattern just in general. Um, today we are going to be tying it on a Daiichi 1120 uh, and that is a curved hook with two times heavy. Technically, it is a nymph hook, but uh, I found that the dry fly hooks are just a little too weak um, for foam patterns like this. Uh, so the nymph hook has the two times heavier wire, um, which makes it less likely to bend out uh, and just improves hook sets overall. Um, this is a question a lot of beginners have. Can you tie dry flies on nymph hooks and vice versa? And the answer is absolutely. Uh, and then next up, our thread. Um, the key is to be tan for the cinnamon flying ant, uh, or the cinnamon toast ant that is. Uh, and today I have it in 8 aught. Um, normally it would be 6 aught, but to be totally honest, I just don't have 6 aught right now. I'm out of it. Um, and you can see uh, in my hook today, the um, hook is a little bit angered, ang angled down. Um, and that is on purpose. Uh, we, it's just going to help us a little bit with tying in our foam, which is the first step. So we are going to just start our thread. Doesn't really matter where. We'll start it sort of in the middle. There we go. Gonna snip off that excess. Just lay down a little bit on the back there. About halfway down the bend and then we're gonna make our way back towards the middle. All right, we're gonna let that hang. And then today, just got a piece of foam prepared. I like to shape it like that just to make it easier to tie in. But basically you want that to be going right towards about the middle. You're gonna capture that, see how it's really easy. Pull back a little and you are just gonna go, keep it wrapping back until you reach about the midpoint of the hook bend, right about there, and you're just gonna anchor that down with some really good wraps. Tighten that. All right, and there you go, as you can see. Just set that there for now. All right, now we're just gonna dub a nice body. And today I have the Hairs Ear Plus dubbing in tan. Uh, it's just a little bit darker than your average Hairs Ear. Um, and that's from Hairline. Gonna take our wax here, just to make it easier for that dubbing to go on. No. Just gonna put that on, twist it with your fingers, maybe slide it up a little bit. It's okay if you overdub this a bit. That should be about enough. And then we are just gonna start wrapping towards the back, make our way. So you got like sort of a nice ball there. That's how it's going to look. We need a little bit more. All right, now this is gonna be the back half of our body here, as you can see. Um, you just got this nice little, little bulbous action going there. Uh, and then you're basically gonna dub that until you get right to about the middle of the hook here. And now we are going to bring over our foam, just like that. And we are going to, oops, 
Now we're just going to bring over our foam right over the top there. Let's just pull on it a little bit. Cinch that down. A couple wraps. All right, so it kind of looks like that. There's the bottom view. Here we go. Now I'm going to take the hook out of the vise. I'm going to set it properly again. Now we're going to put a couple wraps right in front of that and just advance it a little bit. Now we're going to put the foam back down. Bring that over. And this is going to be where we're going to put our hackle and our wing. All right. Now we're going to go back in front of that and give it some wraps. And we're just going to lay a foundation. I always like to lay a foundation before I put any dubbing on or anything like that. Now we're going to take that wax again, just nice and easy there. Now, if you have ever seen an ant before, which I'm sure you have, you would notice that the thorax, I believe, or maybe the abdomen, I'm not actually good at using the smart technical words, but basically the back is bigger than the front. So we are going to wrap another section in front, uh, but it's going to be a little bit smaller than the back. Wrap that. There we go. We're going to advance forward to right behind the eye there. There we go. Now we're going to bring that foam over top. We are going to capture that. There we go. And then we are going to bring our foam back across the top, just like that, sort of Xing. And we are going to take the foam back over the top and cinch that down. So now it looks like that. We're going to pull on that foam. Well, let's make sure that's tight. Make sure that's tight down. Now we're gonna pull on the foam a little bit. We're gonna trim it off. Oops. And I'm just gonna make that a little closer. There we go. All right. All right, now we're just gonna cinch down that again. Next up comes our wing, and it's just going to be the PolyPro yarn. And what we're going to do is we're going to lay it down. And basically, you want the wing to be going angled a little bit back. So I'm going to put that over, secure that down, and just like the lip. You know. So now, as you can see, they're both going back like a flying wing. And we're just gonna wrap, 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 secure that down. Just like that. There we go. Next we're gonna put in our hackle. Uh, and the biggest key here is to make your hackle one size smaller than you normally would for the hook. So for instance, this is a size 12 hook, but I'm gonna use a size 14 hackle, and that is because the buildup of the foam and the wing is so big that it is like you are using uh, a smaller hook. So we are just gonna lay that down. All right, secure that. Now we're just going to snip off that excess. And this is something I see a lot of tires do with terrestrials. Not something I normally do, but something I'll do on the video here. Um, we are going to 
crisscross. So we're gonna bring our thread up over and across, and then we are gonna just lay a couple of wraps down. Now we are gonna bring it on the other side, like so, back to where our hackle is. And what this does essentially is it makes the edges here bulb out a little bit, like bulbous eyes. Not totally necessary, but definitely something you can do. Okay, now we're gonna take our hackle and we are gonna start wrapping. Use my rotary function. Just start wrapping, touching wraps until you get to the front there. Now we are gonna capture that hackle. There we go. Snip off our excess. Okay, and then to get back to the front, we are gonna go back over the line we made previously. Just gonna give that a nice little whip finish. Come in and snip off that excess. Now we're gonna adjust our wings. So this is what they look right now. I like to wet the wings a little bit just so they're not flaring out so much when I'm trying to cut them. All right. We're gonna bring them back so they're the same size. Cut them right about, right about where the body is. So now our wings look like that. Now our wings look like that, splayed off to one side. There we go. What it looks like from the bottom there. Okay, and now we're almost done. We just have one more step. And I'll tell you what, this is the most important part to any terrestrial. We're gonna take a nice black Sharpie here and we are just gonna put a little eye there and there. And bam, there we go. Cinnamon toast ant right there. The eye, absolutely not necessary. The fish can't see it, it just makes it look a little better. This one is tied on a size 12. Uh, I also tie them in a size 14. They float really well, um, so they can be used for dry droppers. Uh, but I thought I would just give you guys this tutorial as this is one of my favorite flies in the months of September and October. If you see any big carpenter ants out there, it can even be used for hoppers, for a smaller hopper if you wanna add some legs. That's something I've seen people do. But most of all, it is just a good fly, floats well. That's one of my biggest pet peeves when flies don't float well. Um, so there it is, cinnamon toast ant.